Okay, this week we are teaching you how to do deadlifts or get back to deadlifts after you've had a disc injury. Now, Elke's had a disc injury and she's had surgery as well, so a disectomy, and that means she has to be very cautious when she returns to deadlift. Now, for her, we've been teaching her a lot of hip hinging work, so learning how to get the mechanics of bending of the hips instead of bending the back, maintaining a stable core, which has been very important for her daily life to pick things up. But at some point, we have to get her strengthening. Now, my rule, especially after someone who's had a disectomy and even anyone who's had a disc bulge, is you don't want to go over your body weight in weight when you deadlifts. So Alki doesn't really want to go over 60 kilos, so we're not even starting there. We're starting down at eight kilos because we need some sort of load to challenge her core and challenge her spine to strengthen so she can pick up things daily life. But we're making sure that she gets educated that we start off low and increase the weight as we go so she doesn't go over her limit and she can actually have time to strengthen because the disc won't accept, in my experience, will not accept heavy load anymore. But doing a little bit of load is actually really good for strengthening and it will handle a little bit of load especially as she's weeks and weeks and weeks down the track now she's done a lot of healing um, and she's ready to go with no pain so let's go through the deadlift first making sure we get everything right for her to make sure she knows what she's doing so first thing first she's got to pick up the weight so what i would do get those feet wide elke yeah now this one making sure she doesn't you don't want to ever do a deadlift like this for her she needs to be able to create some torque and get her glutes involved so she has to remain straight but she wants her knees apart a little bit now to get down the first deadlift is obviously off the floor we're only doing romanian deadlifts today but she has to pick the weight up so she's going to sit back drop down get as low as she can now when she before she lifts the weight she's got to brace breathe quick out and then up she comes to there. So the first position is so always making sure that first position is good, but she's not going to go that deep anymore for her repetitions. Now, if you look at Elke, if we go say side on, come over here, sir. Again, you've got to make sure you start with a, that neutral spine. And the beauty about having a kettlebell rather than a big bar is you can have the kettlebell going between your ankles. So her the weight that she's got is more centered through her body. If you've got a bar, it's a lot harder. And she will progress to that. And obviously then you can put weights on and you can go heavier and heavier and heavier. But having a kettlebell keeps her that low load for the first point. It's easier for the body to remain centered, um, but it stops her lifting too heavy too soon. So always start with a kettlebell um, or a dumbbell or something like that. So when she's going to go forward, remember this is a Romanian deadlift or a hamstring deadlift. She's going to not bend at the knees, but she's going to hinge back at the knees. Her pelvis is not allowed to go down, it only goes backwards, so go backwards for me, hinge your knees a bit. So when she gets to that point, she still remains down in neutral spine, comes straight back up again, back into there, good. And then slowly down again for me, sitting that pelvis backwards as she goes, keeping that neutral spine, and then coming back up. Excellent, okay. And making sure she doesn't over arch at the back here, so she can't tuck under or can't arch over but I would do every sort of three repetitions is reset and make sure that spine is neutral go again for me so pelvis back hinging at the knees hinging at the hips the most and then coming back up and you can see how she can keep that weight from going too far forward does that feel all right no pain with that and the other thing is to remember is making sure she braces at the top and braces when she comes back up so she's got to do for her a little bit of pelvic floor is helpful but mostly it's the obliques the breathing out the quick breath quick breath out so she maintains that she breathes upstairs and she maintains that core as she sits her bum backwards that weight stays down she gets the point as far as she can go that's it and breathe out and come back up again okay so making sure i would keep those reps around about eight to ten maybe even twelve Again, she's using an eight kilo bowl. You can go to four, or you can go to six, but don't go too heavy too soon. That's the crucial part. She needs to spend weeks, and I'm talking 12 weeks, to get her weight slowly, slowly progressive. But you know, her limit is 60 kilos, but she doesn't have to get to there. She might get to 20, and that might be happy enough because realistically, 20 kilos is all she needs for her back to strengthen because she's not going to lift anything really more heavy than that in her life anyway and she's not doing bodybuilding so she's not trying to get really 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 heavy or compete to try and improve her overall strength 
She just needs to get her back and her core functionally strong for her disc and protect it for the rest of her life, making sure that when she lifts things in her daily life, it doesn't get injured again. Do you want to try again for me? So pelvis back. Good. There's that nice neutral spine. Now she can't go any further because she'll buckle down. She can't stay there too long. Come back up and then there. Now, remember, discs don't like forward flexion, but she's not flexing her spine, she's flexing at the hips. They still, though, that load forward, there is still load going through the spine, but that's what we're doing, because only eight kilos in her upper body. We're using that to strengthen up her back, strengthen up her core, to improve the soft tissue strength around it, and improve her ability to lift. And it's actually prevention and protection just as much as strengthening. Okay.